Hey guys, I am Exotic Gaming, and today I am back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. And before I begin this glitch tutorial on how to get out of the map Ants Life, I'd like to say that this glitch works as of the 9.1.0 Summer Update in January of 2015. So if you are watching this video in May, June, July, you know, even 2016, this glitch may very well not work, and please don't get your hopes up if you are watching it that late after I post this. So for the people who are watching this pretty soon after I post this, who are still in the summer update, hey, this is a glitch that's going to work for you. And uh, yeah, let's show you guys how to get out of the map Ants Life. This is a very big glitch found not by me. It was found by another YouTuber by the name Prior Gaming. I will put a link to his channel down in the description below. Be sure to check him out and subscribe to him. He found probably one of the biggest glitches in 2015, and he wanted me to post this so more people would see it. So yeah. This is a very different glitch than my average out-of-the-map glitch tutorials where I just create a custom match with a password so nobody else joins and I can peacefully do the glitch. You actually need other people to do this glitch. You have to be on team fight and you have to join red team on Ants Life, okay? It's quite a few things and uh, when you watch me do this, hopefully you'll be able to completely understand. You will also need a jetpack. That's the one other item. That's the only item you will need in order to successfully attempt this glitch. And there's a specific strategy in order to be able to get out of the map. All I got to do is join red team like this. Get out your jetpack. Let the people kill you and keep tapping that jump button. I'm not holding the jump button down, I'm tapping it. And as you guys can see where Awesome Boy and Flynn 180 are, you can spawn over there sometimes on the red team. I'm just going to go over here just so they can kill me. Keep tapping that jump button. Um, and eventually when you spawn, you will spawn right over here where I am, where these guys are. So I'm going to hopefully allow these guys to kill me. And hopefully I will res respawn in the right spot. Come on. I keep respawning in the wrong spots. I would like these guys to get out of the way just so... Um, Okay, let's go. Let's try it. There we go. Okay, so as you guys can see there, I was tapping the jump button the, the entire time continuously, and uh, once I eventually respawned right over here where Vincent is, I just kept tapping that button immediately after I respawned, and I was able to clip through the wall, through the ceiling. The thing is, though, when you do this glitch, there are a few things to note. When you go over to these trees, you have to stay on top of them. You cannot go down to the grass level or... The little white garage, uh, you know, whatever that's called, I don't know, driveway tile type of thing. You cannot go over there. You have to stay up on top of these trees because uh, it will say that you have killed yourself if you go down there. So be careful. You can get something like your prototype PSR2 and uh, take guys out from over here. As you guys can see, if I can manage to get them, I'm still getting kills from way, way, way over here. And it's pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's a really cool glitch. It, it, you know, it's costly just because you have to get a jetpack. So, you know, at least it's not going to be one that everybody's going to be spamming and using. But, uh, yeah. So be sure to check out Prior Gaming's YouTube channel. Be sure to check out all of my other Pixel Gun 3D glitch tutorials, out-of-the-map glitch tutorials. I don't really have much else I need to say. Just get a few more kills random here and there. Let's get out another jetpack just real quick. Okay, I guess I tapped the mech button. Okay, I guess that, that'll work. Come on, somebody kill me, please. I can just do this. Nope, guess that's not going to work. So, yeah, guys, here we go. We're going to respawn. We're going to keep tapping that jump button. I'm tapping it right now. Going to let these guys kill me. Hopefully this guy is going to be able to kill me easily. And there we go. Respawning, tapping that jump button. You have to just tap that jump button right after you respawn, and uh, you should be set. Um, if I can get these guys' attention real quick, um, I'm just going to probably kill myself personally. You can do that yourself also. You can just kill yourself, and that'll be easier. That'll take less time, and uh, come on. As you guys can see there, I didn't tap the jump button directly after I respawned, so that was why I didn't clip through the wall. I don't really have that much else to say though, guys. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get this a second time. I don't think I'm going to end up having the respawns in my favor. Just going to keep tapping and seeing if I'm lucky enough. Nope, I don't think I don't think actually you are going to be able to do this unless unless somebody else kills you. So that's that's also something to note. You have yeah, there you go. You have to do it when somebody else kills you. So. 
There you go, guys. That's how to get out of the map Ants Life. It's a very big glitch, the biggest one in 2015 that I've seen. You can't go down to those bushes, as you guys see there. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be a review on the weapon I have right here. So, see you guys in the next one.